Hello everybody, this is Mike Fauché. In today's video, I want to cover setting up Home Assistant on your Synology NAS. Home Assistant is a free open source smart home platform that allows you to control your smart home across many devices and standards. If you want to know more about how to run this platform on your Synology, stick around for the rest of this video. And please don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. Before you can install Home Assistant on your Synology, you need to make sure that the Container Manager is installed. If you don't have it installed, launch your Package Manager and in the search field type Container and select Install on the Container Manager. As mine is already installed, I'll only see the Open option. Once the installation is completed, you're now ready to begin to install Home Assistant. Open the Container Manager and select Registry from the left tabs. In the search box, search for Home Assistant and select the first one that comes up and hit download. It'll prompt you for a tag and select the latest as this will install the latest version of the application. Hit apply to start the download. Give it a bit of time to complete the download and before we hit run, we should create a share for our Docker containers. This is not mandatory, but it makes it easier to find and organize our Docker containers as you add more of them. Go to the file manager and create a shared folder and call it Docker. As I already have one, I'll create a Docker 1 for the purposes of this demo. For this folder, I'll disable this recycle bin and enable hide this shared folder in network places. These are optional and depends on what you want to do, but as this is an app folder, I don't need it to show when I browse. Complete the rest of the prompts and once you've completed creating the folder, go back to the container manager and select image and select home assistant and click run so that you, we can finish the process. When you hit run, you're going to give it a name. I would enable auto start as you want home assistant to start up automatically if things were shut down or if the NAS has to reboot for an update and hit next to continue. In this next screen, we have to make a few changes. The first thing we need to do is click on Add Folder and select the Docker folder that you just created and click on Select. It'll prompt you for a name and type Home Assistant and click OK. Then select Home Assistant Folder and click on Create Folder and this time type Config as the folder name and click OK. Highlight the Config folder and hit Select. This will create a new folder setting entry that points to the Docker slash Home Assistant slash Config folder in the variable name type slash config. Next, scroll down to the environment section and click add. And in the variable type tz for time zone and in the value type your time zone. In my case, I'll enter America slash Los underscore Angeles. Refer to the wiki page for a listing of all the time zone settings for your area. I'll leave a link to the wiki site in the description below. Next, scroll down to the network section and change the network from bridge to host, as you'll most likely be running this on your same local network. If we review the settings, yours should look pretty similar to mine with one folder variable entry, time zone setting, and the network change. Click next and review the summary when you're done. This will load and launch the container. Your container should now be running and you're now ready to go into launching the home page. For that, you go to your browser, type in your NAS IP address, which in my case is 192.168.0.182, and add a colon 8123 behind it. If you did everything right, this will launch the setup screen of your home assistant. Select Create My Smart Home and create a username and password that you'll use to access the system. When you're done, click on Create Account. On the next screen, type your home address. You can use the Location button, However, in many cases, the location button won't work if you're behind a firewall, as it tends to pick up your provider's location, not yours. So I would suggest just typing in your full address. After the location, answer the next prompts based on your own personal preferences, and you'll be given a list of compatible devices that it's found on your network. Click on Finish, and you're now ready to start customizing your home assistant. As this video was mainly to show you how to install it, I won't go into how to run it and customize Home Assistant. Anyway, that's it for today's video. Please don't forget to subscribe and give this video a like if you find it useful. Thanks for watching, and I'll look forward to seeing you on the next video.